Hello everyone, welcome to Tech UK and my gaming news series. This is where I like to look at everything going on in the world of gaming and keep you as up to date as possible. So let's get on with today's video. It looks like SnowRunner has some competition on the horizon in the form of a game called Icebound. Let's take a look at the trailer and have a chat about the game. Take on the role of Henry, a wilderness firefighter and a member of a rescue expedition in the northern Quebec region. You and your team were meant to provide supplies and evacuate the population in an area beset by a sudden weather crisis and a subsequent rapid drop in temperature. However, you have become separated from the rest of the expedition and now you're forced to fight for your survival in an extreme environment surrounded by hostile fauna, unknown forces and military faction determined to stop you at at all costs. Features include deep survival mechanics, intriguing story, dynamic weather and terrain, stealth and strategy, and a realistic simulation. Now the obvious comparison to SnowRunner I think is a fair one, but once you look below the surface, it really does come across that this is not trying to be a SnowRunner copycat. SnowRunner is very much about those vehicles in the terrain. There's a huge survival aspect here, as you saw in the trailer, getting the alternator out and going inside the cabin and fixing it and maintaining it. You're going to get swamped by animals. And like I read out earlier, it looks like there's going to be militia trying to stop you on your quest. It looks very interesting. It's actually coming across to me a bit like Pacific Drive in the snow. There's some great aspects to the trailer though. I love the way he's loading up the back of his truck. I hope that is gameplay and not just like a cutscene. I'm not sure about the interaction between the vehicles and the snow. Clearly it doesn't look as good as SnowRunner, but like I say, this isn't a SnowRunner copy. And obviously it's still in development and it's not out till next year. So plenty of time for them to release an updated trailer showing certain aspects that have been improved. The developers are the same people that did Car Detailing Simulator and Off-Road Mechanic Simulator. And you can see, obviously, some of that experience is in this game, the way they're opening the hood and taking out elements of the engine. So hopefully that part of the game will be really flushed out and well done. The fact that you're playing as Henry Beauchamp, who's been separated and left on his own from the rest of the mission, makes me think that this probably wouldn't go multiplayer or co-op. It would sort of ruin that immersion of being out in the wilderness on your own. Hopefully the survival aspect of the game isn't too harsh. I don't want to be constantly attacked by wild animals or militia or constantly being told that I'm hungry or thirsty. Hopefully there's time to relax a little bit and explore and set up for future parts of the expedition. Like I say, the idea of the game is that you have been split up from the rest of your crew and you're on this mission alone. So what's the end game? Is it to hook back up with the crew? Does the end of the game happen then? Or are you trapped in this wilderness and left to survive forever? I'd love to know more about the end game. There's still lots of development time, though. It's not due out, like I say, till next year. And there's no indication on what part of next year. So it could be right up until the end of next year. But any new news I will put here on my gaming news series, I'd love to know now. You know what I'm going to say? Get down in the comments section. Let's have a conversation about games. Let's have a conversation about this game. What do you think? Do you think there's a good idea here? Do you think the implementation based on the trailer has all been done properly? Do you like the aspects of what we're seeing? I would love to know in the comments section below but that is it everyone thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one